Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Mitch in the Kitchen. Today we're making pasta carbonara. So carbonara is a pretty simple dish. I'm using a whole wheat penne pasta. The final product is gonna be nice and creamy. It's gonna be really rich, just a delicious dish. So first things up, we're gonna get the pasta in the water. We wanna use less water than we think we need because the pasta's got starch on it and that starch down the road is gonna emulsify with the fat from the eggs, a little bit of the fat from the bacon, the fat from the cheese, and it's gonna create that nice, rich, creamy sauce for us. The other thing is you wanna salt your pasta water, so you want the water to be saltier than you think it should be. And we're gonna go ahead and get our pasta in. Make sure we give it a mix here. There we go, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this guy to the back burner so I can show you what we're doing with the bacon. So typically, pasta carbonara has some sort of pork product. Super traditional is called guanciale. I just have bacon, and we have this really nice thick cut piece of bacon right here. Get this bacon cut in half, and then cut into cubes. Just adding a little bit of oil to the pan here to get this started. And we typically start out at a bit of a lower temperature. You know, I don't love the taste of that kind of chewy, fatty bacon, so I like to render out as much fat as possible. All right, we have our bowl to create our sauce. Now I have this bowl on a scale because I want to weigh out the cheese. I'm gonna use uh, three parts of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese to one part of Romano cheese. I like the flavor of the Parm a little bit better, and the Romano has got this kind of sharpness to it that we want to mellow out with the Parm. Going for about an ounce of cheese, the Parmigiano-Reggiano first. Uh, this has been referred to as the undisputed king of cheeses. All right, three quarters of an ounce there. Next, we're going in with the Romano. We're gonna do one quarter of an ounce, and there we go, we're at one total ounce. Now, next, the egg. So as I said, we're doing one whole egg, two egg yolks. All right, so one egg yolk in, yolk number two. And the reason we're using a higher ratio of yolks to whole eggs is the yolk is the fat. It's gonna be that creaminess that we're craving later. You wanna use some good, fresh black pepper. The house smells awesome. It's always good to render up some bacon. Not a healthy amount there. And get this all whisked together. Now, with an egg dish, one of the risks that you run when you add something hot to eggs is scrambling the eggs. So what we're gonna do is add the pasta to the eggs in its own bowl. All right, we have our piece of pasta here, gonna give it a test. That's really good, we're about a minute off. Some people like it where there's a bit of a, a texture when you bite through it. Uh, personally, I don't like that, I like my pasta, probably what traditional chefs would consider overcooked, a little bit on the softer side. And with this dish, the pasta is gonna go directly into the egg mixture, and then it's done cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and get that taken out with the slotted spoon. We're gonna take this fat and pour it into its own little bowl. Add a little bit of the bacon fat to this dish, just mixed in. Now our pasta here is fully cooked. Don't be afraid of getting any water in there. The starchy pasta water is actually gonna help emulsify this and get it nice and creamy. As we stir it, as we move it, it's gonna emulsify. It's gonna get us that nice, creamy texture that we want. We're gonna add a little bit of the pasta water. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper here. We have the penne with the ridges there. It's able to soak up all of that delicious sauce. Probably should've used a bigger spoon to do this, but We'll get there, looking good. Top it with a little bit of our bacon here. Just like that with the Parmesan. Beautiful, like nice light dust of snow there. All you can city people know exactly what that looks like. And that's our finished dish. And we're gonna give this a try. You taste the rich creaminess of the sauce. You get that saltiness from the cheese. Hope you guys are able to try this dish out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of it. If you have any ideas for what you want me to cook next, let me know as well. Have fun cooking.